Toronto is becoming a playground for the rich. Don't believe me? Let's do the math. The medium income for a working age person in Toronto is $45,200. That person will pay around $5,722 in taxes. The average rent for a one bedroom apartment in Toronto is now 2,500 bucks. So that's 30,000 right there. Another 150 bucks per month for utilities. Then you've got food. The Canada Food Price Report says the average adult will spend around $4,100 on food this year. So now you're down to $3,578. And the latest CRTC data shows a basic sell on internet plan will cost you 125 bucks per month. So that's another $1,500 per year leaving you with $2,078. What about transportation? CAA says a newish Honda Civic will cost you around $8,400 per year to drive. At this point, you would put thousands of dollars in debt. So forget the car, you're taking the TTC. Now, a Metro Pass will cost you $1,500 per year. So now you have $578 left over after paying for the basic essentials or a whopping 48 bucks per month. Hopefully you don't enjoy doing anything else that costs money because on a normal salary in Toronto, it's gonna to be tough to afford. But you know, it wasn't always this way. This city used to be a place where people could live a good life with normal jobs, nurses, teachers, waiters, the person working in your neighborhood coffee shop. They could afford a decent home and raise a family. It became this way because of choices. Choices to never invest in services we all use. To make things like the TTC more expensive to stop building new affordable housing. The reality is, it doesn't need to be this way. We can make it better by making better choices. When we invest in the basics, we invest in everyone's quality of life. It's the only way to make a city that works.